so we were talking about chi in the previous video, and we found that for our platonic solids and for our sphere, we found that our chi equals 2. But that's not always true. For example, we found that it's 2 because you can deform the tetrahedron, deform the cube and other solids into the sphere by taking the clay and just molding it. But what about something like this? This is called a torus. It's uh, basically a donut, if you will. So a torus has a big hole in the middle right here. So this hole. But that mean the hole prevents us from deforming the torus into a sphere. Because when we deform, we're not allowed to just squeeze in the hole. The hole is there and we can't do anything about it. Therefore, chi is not 2 for the torus. Instead, chi equals 1. That means faces plus vertices minus edges of a torus equals 1. Um, and that's true for anything that a torus can be deformed into or that can be deformed into a torus. For example, here's a coffee mug. Here's a coffee mug. Now, a coffee mug also has a hole right here. And if we just deform the coffee mug, if we squeeze it, if we squeeze the side in, for example, if we start squeezing and we get rid of it, we start squeezing everything, we can get a torus again. And for that reason, for a coffee mug, chi equals 1. And the official name for this is called homeomorphic. So, for example, a sphere is homeomorphic to a tetrahedron. And a cube, but is not homeomorphic to a torus. But a torus is homeomorphic to a coffee mug. So I hope everyone enjoyed this Crash Course series in geometry, and um, until next time.